Little People, Big Dreams, Greta Thunberg. Written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara. Illustrated by Anka Weckman. Greta was a little Swedish girl who learned from her parents to turn off the lights, not to waste water, and never throw out food. Three simple lessons for being kind to nature that most grown-ups haven't quite learnt yet. She was very proud of her great-grand-uncle Svante, a brilliant scientist who, a hundred years before Greta was born, made an alarming discovery. The planet was warming up and humans were the ones responsible for it. But even though adults have known this for a long time, not much has been done to change it. Every day, millions of tons of toxic gases are thrown into the air. Greta wondered what would be left of the planet when she grew up. At school, she watched a film about climate change. Most students were worried about polar bears losing their homes because of the North Pole melting. But once the film was over, everyone forgot about it. Everyone except Greta. She felt so hopeless about the future that she stopped talking. Doctors said she had selective mutism and Asperger's syndrome, which meant she would only speak and pay attention to what was really important to her. Some may have thought that these were two terrible conditions, but they ended up becoming Greta's greatest powers. They helped her to stick to her promise, to do everything she could to slow down the planet's warming. Greta started by convincing her parents to give up air travel and stop eating meat. But there were dozens of other little things she could do. She knew that she couldn't stand up for something without walking the walk. Buy only if necessary, plant a tree, eat more veggies, recycle, avoid plastic, ride my bike. She had done her homework, but it wasn't enough. To stop global warming, politicians had to do theirs too. One day, instead of going to school, Greta decided to sit quietly in front of the Swedish parliament, holding a sign. Not very many people noticed her that first day, but it didn't bother Greta. She kept going with her strike every single Friday, and every time she got there, more and more students joined her. There is no planet B. Fridays for future. Save our future. Wake up. No more excuses. It was time for children to wake up the adults. Soon, all over the world, thousands of students started skipping school to protest outside of their city halls, fighting for the future of the next generation. School strike for climate. Inspired by Greta's story, millions of people from Melbourne to San Francisco flooded the streets in the first world strike against global warming. It was the biggest environmental protest ever. Science, not silence. Your mess, our future. Stop CO2. She crossed the ocean on a wind and solar powered boat to speak in front of world leaders. In the name of all children, Greta asked people in power to stop making excuses and start acting before it's too late. What started with just one girl with a handmade sign became a movement that includes us all. Because global warming is the greatest challenge humanity will ever face, but little Greta is no longer alone. Greta Thunberg, born 2003. Greta Thunberg was born in Stockholm, Sweden in 2003. When she was eight years old, she learned that human activity was causing the earth to become hotter and hotter, causing a climate crisis. This could result in animal and plant species going extinct, as well as more natural disasters like floods and hurricanes. Greta could not understand why more people did not take climate change seriously. No one in power was doing much to solve the problem. This made Greta depressed, but she did what she could to make a difference. She stopped using aeroplanes to travel and became, became vegan but she knew she would have to do more to make people realize the danger of climate change. When she was 15, she began missing school to protest outside the Swedish parliament. Other children soon joined her school strike for climate, first in Sweden, then across the world. 
This forced governments to take notice of her cause. Greta was invited to speak to world leaders and activists. She became known for telling the truth when no one else would. When she was just 16, Greta told leaders of the United Nations that they were destroying her generation's future by ignoring climate change. Millions of people around the world were inspired by Greta to take action wherever they could. Some powerful people have said that she is too young to be worth listening to, but Greta knows better. She called Asperger's syndrome her superpower, as it allows her to fight for what she knows is right without worrying about her critics. Today, Greta continues to stand up for the environment and is seen as a symbol of hope for a cleaner, greener future.